birds that you were asking that you were saying about yesterday, last time. I thought they're called killdeers. Right, yeah, yeah. Killdeers, I know isn't that a funny name? I don't know why they're named that, but whatever. Alright. I see a soft field takeoff out of here. Soft field takeoff, like you literally just got it up and then you just started going. You gotta like get it up and then like level it with the ground for a little bit to get some airspeed because you were at only 55 knots. I mean, I mean you could settle back to the ground if you pulled up fast enough. Um, cause, I mean, yeah, you just like pretty much let it get up and then just climbed away because like yeah, it's a little bit more straight and level. Otherwise, it was good. Kind of drifted too. Yeah, just, just a little bit.
that you? Do you like North Up? Yes. All right. All right. We'll leave it. Check over and wait to see if I can take off on course. Let's take off on course. I mean, you can do whatever, it doesn't really bother me. I was just like, nah, I'll leave it, it's fine. This is only we're on like two left side, see the alpha. Play needs like power wash to get all these bugs off, God. Oh, that wings are terrible. That yeah, wings are really bad, we'll probably lose like three knots because of all the bugs. <laughs> we're probably right. You're like ATP, or not ATP, but like when you first get, and what is it like IOE? Uh, yeah, like what, like when I first get on the line? Yeah, like how long, how long does the training take? Because I was like reading people on like on Reddit, and it seems sounds like it's like a pretty long process. Like my class date was in June, and I'm just flying now. Yeah, no, it is. Um, the publics will take up to three to four months. So, like, uh, you get you go to ATP C. And then I, I then I believe you go to Indoc, then uh, it, then it's like systems. And they send you home for like two weeks or something to study, and they give you an iPad or something, and then you go back and make sure you know systems, and then uh, and then you start doing simulator training somewhere along the line. Then once you get all the maneuvers, take the test of the sim, and you know the systems, and you do the whole written blah blah blah. Uh, it's uh, IOE time, or IE, initial operating, or OE, or whatever they call it, it's operating experience, so you got to be on the line with like a training captain for 25 hours uh, at, at minimum, uh, and then uh, then once they, once they say you're good, then, um, you're on the, then you're on the line, like you're good to go, you can like get your schedule and start bidding for trips, so... Uh, pretty excited for that. It should be really fun. So they're gonna pay for your ATP. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't pay, but I don't, I don't pay her anything. Hey, right, I'm gonna this yellow with the yellow and green come together. This field probably gonna come uh, get down to 1800. And I don't know where these those two trees are in the middle. I'm gonna use that kind of as my starting cross off point and FR tree. The first one. Uh, okay, um, yeah, don't forget to do your clearing turns or whatever. Yeah. Go left. Yeah, are people saying it took like three to four months? I was just surprised at how long it took. I thought it was like pretty short, and then they just started training you on sim stuff. And then, uh... Kind of brought you back and like got you got you in as fast as possible. So I I, I just didn't know what to what I was I guess what to expect. So I thought it would be like faster for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, no, it takes it, it takes it takes a while. I mean, it's yeah. A lengthy process. I think once you go to the majors, that's a lot shorter. Like when you do, like if you go to training for the majors, like two months. So 
what's your first point again? At Far Tree, where the green, the green and the, the yellow and the green kind of come together. Okay. Yep. So I'll like shoot kind of for these trees for like my middle point. All right. Up to eighteen hundred. this all works out, because I always feel like one of these is always easy to do, or there's a beam of the points. Do the road of this road line. And I can't see we'll use this farm. Okay. Tower 734, Uniform Lima is holding. And roll out. Alright, that was good. Just like, uh, we'll do this one more time. But next time on the farm, you need to choose like a certain building or a certain point. You can't just say the farm is way too broad. Paul okay. be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Fair enough. shoot for the far barn, like the east-west kind of barn. Okay. Kind of got distracted. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I know you did, you did really well last time, so...
Pass over at 1800. Alright, let's, uh, let's go do something else. Alright, that was pretty good. Just make sure, like, like uh, I thought it was really good. Just make sure you're, like, you're not using the whole wing. You've got to, like, like, your point, like, the, the left one was good. Just make sure, like, when you choose something, like, I would have chose a silo over there, something around. Uh, that, w that would have been good. Um, and then make sure you, you like you're picking a point on your wing, like where the strobe light is or something, and there's like a, a, a lasso from that point to the point you've chosen. But otherwise, it was good. So, okay. uh, uh, all right, what do you want to do now? Let's chant that love. All right, all right, cool. We're getting a a, a weast heading. Pretty much west. Uh, to the left. That's where the wind's coming from. Uh, 30 degrees. Full power. Pitching up. You gotta start working it out as soon as you hit that 90 degree point, man. Otherwise, it's gonna come around real quick on you, and you're gonna mess up that heading. Um, another thing, I, I would just, I wouldn't get lower than 50 knots when you're trying to end this maneuver. I would try and end around 50 knots. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah I mean, a stall alarm. I mean, I guess I would, I would indicate an imminent recovery from the stall, just like because it's saying that there's a possible stall. Blah blah blah. They're good. I mean, you're getting them nice and slow, so um, okay, the heading's good, the altitude's good, and I'm not saying there's really any issues with these ones. Let's just do We can do one more to the left. And, yep. 30, full power. Alright, let's see what we you don't leave 30 degrees the whole time and it'll be a lot easier when you're trying to roll out on your heading uh, but otherwise no they're, they're pretty good for the most part I didn't really see any issues uh, alright let's uh, I'm just gonna turn turnish to the north hey. that engine like was like running 
feeling like weird when you're doing the. Can like, you feel? Can you feel it? Like then it's like. I think when I first gave it power, it kind of buttered a little. Uh, it was like I don't know. Yeah, it was weird. All right, we've got tons of fields. We've got a bunch of fields we can land in. All right. Um, let's do slow flight. We'll do that kind of series. to the 90 to the west. What, what airspeed are you trying to pitch for? I'm just trying to keep it level. Okay, well, so remember, there are airspeeds you need to pitch for in this one, and like, altitudes. Uh, I get you're trying to keep it level, but like, if you're keeping, remember, I think you did this last time, if you have full power, man, 65 knots is way too fast, so we need to be at like 50 knots. Okay. I know you can keep it. I know you can keep it straight level, but yeah, you don't want full power in when you're definitely doing this maneuver unless it's probably a really hot day. So get it a little bit slower here. 60 is still too fast because we want it just above stall speed in this one. Knots will keep that. Yeah, all right, let's come back to the north. Did you feel the engine like how it's like feeling? Uh, it, like, do you feel it? I don't know, it just doesn't feel smooth, but it's fine. I felt, yeah, I felt like I gave it a little power and I will search it a little bit. Is that what you're saying? No, I just like, it just like feel like it, like how the airplane feels. It just. Abrading. Yeah, it feels like it's running weird. Alright, so. Uh, Alright, uh, go ahead and recover me. Oh yeah, 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 no, you're good, yeah, let's do a stall, power off stall. Like, be a little quicker with getting the flaps out. Just go ahead and bring them up to like 30 or 20. Um, just because you want to get all that drag out. But, uh, alright, cool. So, now let's uh, do a power on stall. We'll
Now let's forget, did they change the ACS on lowering the nose to the horizon or lowering the nose to gain air speed? Uh, I, should, I should know this myself. But well, what do you mean? Like, I think when I was learning, they were saying, lower the nose, get air speed. And then I thought they changed it to lower the nose to the horizon. That was it. That was uh, the. That was the uh, I always taught my students lower the nose to the horizon, regardless, commercial, private, because, I mean, because if you're close to the ground, you're not going to put your nose to the ground. You're going to level it to the horizon, let it gain some airspeed, and then, like, climb back away. Get out of there. I don't want to get too close to the bill. Altitude was good. Yeah. Well, I think that was just a bad one. I did. I don't, yeah, no, it, you just turned out a little late. That's it. Just yeah. remember when you do this one, like before you start, look out in front of you. What's in front of you? Find an object in front of you so that you know when you come back around that you're looking for that object. And if you like to see that object, then you roll out on it and then you'll be on your heading. Um, that's my best tip there for like. Making sure you're not focusing on that, like rather than getting focused on that, you're looking outside for your object, and you'll, nine out of ten times you'll be on your heading. So hey, I usually use like 30 degrees before, and it usually works out pretty well. Yeah, no, that's a good way but, to do it too. So, but yeah, the object will help, like just kind of reinforce that. But um, all right, cool. So um, accelerate install. Yeah, uh, your true choice, left or right. So uh, I, I like to slow this one down, like when I do this. That's good. Okay. Cause Cause it'll happen sooner. Yeah, because I've been doing these, and it's just like, it's been, I've been doing almost like a 360. I was like, what the hell? I don't remember it taking this long. Yeah, make it like 80, 75 knots, and you'll be good. All right. The power, or just now? No, you don't put any power. I just had a little power now, just because it's a little far out. 1,700? Yeah, that's fine. All right. All right, just doing steep turn. Now you're just pulling back. Let me know when I ask you. There you go. See? It's a little easier when you do yeah, one. Yeah, that was so much easier. Okay, you just gotta slow that one down and do it. Yeah, you just have to make it slow. Alright, uh, head to Marysville and... Alright, yeah, let's head to Marysville. Oh, Lazy 8s. Uh, yeah, um... Right, right, uh... We're good. <laughs> Heading, head that way. Uh, head to the wind. Yeah, wait, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think so. I can't remember if it's like Shondell's where you want it, like, turn in. You want, I think you want it parallel so you're not, like, drifting. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you can use this nice long patch of trees. Well, it's not over here. It's All right. way over. Yeah. 90, 95 and 3900. We're looking good. All right.
Up, you got to be turning and pitching up because now you're going to be at your 45 degree point and be like already too slow. Make sure you're turning when you're pitching up. Then you just get you just get out too soon. I was turning face for two eight. I will right, we'll do one more and then head over. All right. Passing uh, to your right there, Larry. Bardstown traffic six seven Delta left downwind runway zero three Bardstown. Slow down and get behind. 
behind them, I suppose. But there were five out. We can get behind them. Uh, uh, we're in like steep spiral over here, and yeah, we can probably do a steep spiral over the airport. I mean, we just got a. Uh, yeah, I just gotta watch out for him. Otherwise, like, I was, uh, what I was saying, I was like, I'd slow down for him now and just get behind him. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. That, that would probably, I mean, he's, yeah, he's up there a little bit, so. How are we doing on time? Oh, no, we're good, man. We got plenty of time. We are, yep. we're, we're doing just fine. We'll let him slide in here in the pattern, and then we'll just see him spiral over the end of 2-7, and then, uh, you know, and he can just, he can figure it out, because we're going to do two spirals. Union County, 197, left traffic, 2-7, Union. He's already in the pattern, man. Do you see him? Uh, he's, he's, like, right off the nose. He's below it. You have to give, it, give me a second to find him. I think it's a, oh, there, there's the, the shite sport. <laughs> there he is. I thought it was an experimental. Well, uh, it's probably, a, you can, maybe, it, maybe it is an experimental. Hey, new players, get out of here. Oh, nice, yeah. Union County traffic is Scott 75746, so 4000 will be overflying the field, doing a steep spiral down to 27. Union County. Union County, 19 charge there. Left base, 27 Union. You guys full stop or touch and go? Full stop Union. Roger, uh, we got you guys in sight. We'll be steep spiraling. Start it whenever you want. Yeah, I'll get I'll get more over the over the field. Four, five, Trying six, to keep an image sight just to be sure. Union County, one nine Charlie Sierra. We're on a quarter mile final four two seven to Grass Union. West heading. No full power. Alright, so you said just put your wheel on the spot and spiral over that. Yep. Alright, here we go. And I don't know, you start, I guess, shoot for 65. Yeah, uh, right, yeah, 65, 70. Union County Traffic, Scott, 75746, uh, starting at a steep, steep spiral descent over 27. I'll be entering the pattern in Atlantic 27. Touch and go, Union County. For your plan, uh, for your touch and go. Atlantic County Traffic, Cherokee. Down. Ah, uh, thank God. Yellow Shark traffic, Tom Axis Alpha, turning final 2 6, touch and go, Yellow Shark.
kind of cheating. There's no wins. Not very light wins. Alright. Uh, Union County traffic, Skyhawk 74 Kilo is uh, 5 Southwest inbound for one way 27, Union County. 1 4 Jefferson County. Hey, thanks. 
seconds, so we have more time. Union County, Cherokee 20 Delta, lining up for runway 27, Union County. Uh, airplane at Union County, line up on 27, we'll be a full stop here on the grass and turn it around here so you guys can get out. County traffic, Cherokee 20 Delta rolling. Put the round on the grass. Yep. How about white birds? Hey, 
Edgar. Alright, there we go, that's better. Traffic 6 Echo Victor is 5 to the south, free landing 2 3 Galleon. Oh, yeah, love landing grass. Yeah. Oh, landing grass so far. Captain 428 is about 5 south of the field, climbing through 2,500 for 3,000. Alright, it's too powerful, 80. Thousand footers, that's the point you're landing on. Traffic 6 Echo Victor turning downwind 2 3 Galleon. Portland traffic, uh, I think they're coming to now, uh, let's see, 2 6 Mail Shot. Union County traffic is back, 75746 turning final for runway 27, touch and go, Union County. Wraps up, car beat. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll talk. I, I, I'll tell you what you did wrong. <laughs> Alright, so you put in all the flaps for way too early. Way too early, because we're trying to make the thousand footers, right? No, well, I was trying to make the uh, the white cones, the runway cones from the grass. That's what I said. Okay, well, let's use thousand footers. So I check right, Paul's going to make you use the thousand footers. Okay. So. I always use thousand footers on this because that's what that's what they all have. That's what Paul has you do. He's not gonna have you try and put it on the number, so he'll, he'll tell you thousand footers.
Experimental 7 Hotel Juliet, uh, close in, uh, left face, runway 23 Galleon. Turning left downwind for 274 plane. Traffic Cessna 35406, turning downwind, runway 23, guys. Okay, one thing. Remember, your, your landing point is not your aiming point because we landed. Traffic, three, five, four, you actually three, landed five, on the, one, two, three, <laughs> the nose wheel, and then the mains came down. Like we were yeah. going forward on the nose wheel, and the mains came down. Then, so we gotta we gotta make an uh, like an actual round out, like land normally, because he can't. That that is on the ECS where it says land at a normal position, like normal round out. Encounter traffic, Comanche 5118, Bob departing 27 to the south. Encounter traffic, Sky Sun 5746, trying to cross my front, like 27, touch and go, Encounter. Encounter traffic, Sky Sun 
You already know you can't go on short, right? <laughs> right, so... Yeah. I mean, I, have, have you been nailing these by yourself? I've been doing... well... No. I've been, like, inconsistent. Like, I used to be able to do them, like, just fine, and I'll... Never since then... It has been complete shit. Uh... I don't... I don't really know what I changed, or... Maybe I was just lucky the first couple times. Uh, maybe. Um, so, all right. Let me let me do one. Let me show you how I do it, and you can just see like what you think and go from there. Alright. Okay. Well, let's let's do this. What? What do I do differently that you do or don't do? Uh, well, I have an aiming point before my landing point that I'm, that I'm trying to go for and be at my airspeed. I'm trying to be at 65 by then. I incorporate forward slips into what I'm doing. Uh, but again, if you're doing forward slips, all you can use is 20 degrees flaps. Um, uh, let's see, I mean... I mean, it, I don't know, it's, it, it, if it, it'd be like a difference of when I would turn, when you would turn, what, how what my aiming point is versus your aiming point. Like I'm aiming like for like the two, the second, that, at the beginning of that first, uh, like the beginning of the second stripe in front of the thousand footers. That's where I'm aiming for, so it's almost about where the threshold is for the grass runway. Is going to right, I'll try you, one more. Uh, I'm going to pass it, but what? Right. Right, brother, coming out of high here, so go ahead and put in right rudder and left aileron and forward slip it at 70 knots, that's what I would do. I'm just going to round, well, not round the pattern out, but like do more of a full pattern, because usually I round it out if I think I'm... Okay, well, yeah, that's fine, uh, that works too. Here to me, I feel like I'm low, I don't know why. I know, this looks pretty good, I don't think you're low. Any kind of traffic, Sky X7, 5, 7, 4, 6, on final for runway 27, touch and go. But now you more, more flaps, because I'm afraid of putting in too much flaps, and... But here's where you wait, you let you let the plane get lined up on final, and then you look where your aiming point is to see if this is enough, if, if you need more flaps or less flaps. So, this is, it's, it's a judgment call, you gotta look where your, where your aiming point is. Hey, this looks pretty good, so... Alright, maybe I'll... A little short. <laughs> just hold it off. You have to really just hold it off. If you want to make thousand footers, don't let it touch. Just keep holding it off. <laughs> yeah, you gotta hold off. Well, you can be more aggressive. There you go. There you go. Why do you keep doing that? What are you doing? I'm just counting the landings with it. Oh. It makes well, it easy. Traffic just the one one three five eight three miles south. Entering a left downwind out of forty five. Landing two eight. Morrow 
Eagles County traffic. Yeah, like you could like you could have made that like without even nicking it. You just have to be more aggressive holding it off. Like hold the airplane off until it's out the foot is like do not let it touch the ground. And then once once you're like right about to the thousand footers and you can so you can slowly start transition grant. Now that's a bad habit of doing it. Um, I thought there was no way, because even, even then, like, I don't know, the stall horn, well, I guess the stall horn was starting to go off, not that it was stalling, but... Uh, yeah. Alright, I think one more and then I'm done. Alright. <laughs> Chance. You got a chance. Morrow County, system 11358, final for 28, Morrow County. Oh, you got it. Hold it off, just hold it off, there you go. Oh, no, I need to... I feel like I need to cheat and come out here to all the airports we would use and find spots where I think we're going to, like, get roundabout spots where I know I can around, but that's just... I mean, eating. uh, it's, yeah, it's just like, I mean, it's just a feel thing with the airplane, um, and getting the, the normal sight picture now, so like, when you were high, like me, what I would have done, I would have put in more flaps, I would have forward slipped it first, I would have, I would have forward slipped it to 70 knots, to down, and then once I got closer, then I would have started adding more, I would have taken out the forward slip and just started adding more flaps, so, uh, forward slip is a good resource in this maneuver, so that's just that's just my opinion. That's how, like how I would incorporate it. Cause I, I, it makes it easy, I think. Alright, we'll head back to those two.
is light the barricades aircraft use caution. Taxiway Golf is unmarked. Hazardous weather airmats are available on flight service and high wash frequencies. Advise on initial contact, you have information alpha. Ohio State Tower, ADIS Information Alpha, time 1353 Zulu weather, wind 2004, visibility 10, sky is clear below 12,000. Temperature 21, dew point 14, the altimeter 3022. Expect the visual or the RNAV GPS approach, landing and departing, runway 27 left and 27 right. VFR departures, provide ground control with your on-course heading degrees. Notice to airmen, on taxiway Alpha between taxiway Delta and runway 27 left run up. So one thing also you need to work on with the Power 180s is like getting that that right that right sight picture when you're landing. Cause you were like like every, like most of the time, you gotta get those mains first in the nose. Because um, it says land like in the ACS land in a normal uh, attitude when when you're landing. So you want to try and make it as normal as possible. Clear to land. So and again, you don't have to come in at 60. You don't have to come in at 65 like every time on final. You can be 60 knots, maybe a little, a little slower if you, if you don't want so, like so much of a ground effect. So, so it, it comes down to like airspeed and like whatnot. So it just depends. Pretty good. Lazy 8's need some work. That one, that one needs a little bit of work. Um, everything else looks pretty good for the most part. Um, one thing with uh, some little things, so uh, don't pull the power out in the climb. Don't do that. Paul will, I don't know what he would do, but don't do that. Full, full power climb at this point. Um, Turning crosswind, so the far aim, I don't know if you've read through that yet, but the far aim says you should turn crosswind 300 feet below, like from upwind to crosswind 300 feet below pattern altitude. And you are turning like consistently at about 400 feet AGL. So okay. um, that's one thing uh, I can show you too where it references so you know where to find it if you're curious. Um, that's something you should start doing. Uh, it'll make the pattern a little easier too, I think. Um, and then the, the slow flight, just don't leave the power full. You need a 50 knots, is what I tell my students, and then your altitude. So 50 knots and altitude. And then if you just leave a straight level full power, you, you, you say it climbed up to 65, you saw it could get faster, who knows. Those are my tips. Um, what questions do you have for me? Any questions? No, not really. I mean, I mean, you're pretty close. To your, I'd say you're pretty close to your check ride. You need to polish up a few more things. You'll be golden. Yeah. Hey, I, I don't. I don't have any questions. I'm just a little frustrated because, especially with the power off 180s, because I was doing them fine. I was doing. I was doing them a lot. Working. I was doing them. I was hitting a spot much more consistently, like maybe I'd be a little short, but like I would pretty much flare with wheels down, like really yeah. quite close, you know, and every once in a while I'd land short. Yeah. And this was like a long, when I first started like a month or two ago, well, probably two, two plus months ago. And then when, when I started going around with the different structures after that, I tried doing it by myself, like I couldn't do it to save my life. So a, a, a structure better than me, like the, uh, teaching the power for would be Shelby. She did. She literally had to do. She was on flight team and she had to do those. So, um, if you want some more tips, like from an instructor on those, I would try and get a flight in with Shelby. Um, she's pretty good for those. So, um, I think I, I think I, I went up with her a long time ago, and she didn't really have like a formula like Matt Nabel does, but she just kind of was like. I, I don't know, I, I could go back and kind of... Oh, you could even talk to her and ask her what she does. You don't have to fly with her, you could ask her.
56 Fox Delta, turn left, Charlie Alpha Park, Monitor Ground, point seven. Charlie Alpha Park, Monitor Ground, uh, 566 Fox Delta. Mike, uh, uh, AZ-8s, I remember you saying that, uh, really want to, like, kind of want 15 degrees at the 45 degree point, and that's why I was, like, starting off, like, pulling back more, and then starting, slowing the turn, because yeah. even then, like, it still kind of gets to 30 degrees by the time of, like, 45, otherwise, I just don't, otherwise, you, like, I, I start to, like, stall out and slow down way too much. Okay. But, but uh, it's still something I can work on. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, it's not like you're going to, you probably, you're not going to have to do that one check right, but uh, I'd call, I would just call tower whenever you're ready. Hey, Todd, this is Scott, 75746, inbound with Alpha, just east, or just west of the zoo. Full stop, please. 7746 tower, proceed direct to and call right midfield downwind runway 27 left. Proceed direct to right down the field for 27 left, 75746. Alright, so in this one, let's do a short field landing and uh, again, that thousand footer. Runway heading, maintain 3000. Runway heading, clear to go, runway 27 left, Dexter Lair 57. Like, like on your track ride, like the power of 180. So like if you're if you if you think you're gonna even come up short, then you go around. Then you don't. Then you try. Then you go around. And you get another try. Um, okay. I thought you could go around on power of 180s. Nope. You can go around. You're good. Um, you can definitely. I had to. I'm watching the commercial. I, I went around. It's fine. Uh, but uh. Yeah, don't yeah, don't be afraid to go around. Those are I think he has to evaluate that for you for that anyway. So I mean, if he thinks you're gonna make it, he could call to go around. Um, and if he says go around, that's yeah, obviously immediate go around. is a windscreen screen is needs a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, it needs a lot of things. 57 contact on this departure, good day. Contact departure, good day. So 746, you can disregard the position. Call runway 27 left, you're clear to land. Clear land, 27 left, 7546. There goes the jet. Yep. See ya. week I saw a plane called a uh, phenom with airshare on the side of it. Never heard of that. Alright, so you want thousand footers. Yes. I was literally what Paul's gonna use for your track ride. Thousand footers almost every time. Or every time for the precision landing. There was a golf course just over here. Oh yeah, yep. Brookside. Doing up at Midway. Uh, I had a 
that student who had work and he wanted to fly to Midway, and I was like, all right, go to Midway. <laughs> go to the Sears, fun stuff. What does that take, like an hour and a half or something? Uh, in the SR-20, it takes about, it took about two and a half, uh, or really? two and a half there, yeah, because of headwinds and stuff out of the west. On the way back, a little over two hours. Just a little, just a little long. That was it. That was more than that. <laughs> just float, float, float. <laughs> Did you have the power all the way up? Uh, I don't know. Charlie Alpha to the ground, or ground point seven. So seven four six via Charlie Alpha to the park on the ground point seven. Good day. Back in one of the spots. 
Uh, State Unicom 75746. Yeah, do a 180 here. 75746, Ohio State. Here on the main ramp, could we uh, get a top off and a windscreen clean, please? Right between these. Yeah, between Uniform Lima and Lima Golf, we'll just push it in. Top off, windscreen clean, main ramp for 75746.